Earls of East Eitracht, Legends of the Black Dog. Hi, this is here is Legends of the Black Dog. The Black Dog of Bangray. One of the most frightening incidents ever reported took place in the quiet market town of Bangray in Suffolk on a Saturday morning of the 4th of August, 1577. During the morning service at St Mary's Church, a terrible and violent storm broke out. The sky darkened, thunder clashed and rain fell heavily from the skies. Lightning flashed wildly the storm broke upon the church. Inside the congregation knelt to pray. Suddenly the horror of the congregation for out of the flash of lightning it appeared in the, the church a huge and um, monstrous dog, black dog howling wildly and the lightning flashed and thunder pealed. A beast ran amok attacking the terrified petitioners and causing havoc. Two people at their prayers were killed and the third man was badly burned after being mauled by the beast but had survived the ordeal. That was good. There was great damage afflicted upon the church. A tower was struck by lightning and the clock was destroyed. Before the black dog finally ran wildly from the church to relieve a petrified congregation. Around 12 miles away in the Holy Trinity Church at Blavenberg, Perth, at about the same time, the black dog, or another beast like it, appeared and attacked the frightened congregation at prayers, killing three people. They were, they were are scorched scratch marks on the church door that can still be seen to this day. A lean dog of Ting change in Hertfordshire. In the Hertfordshire town of Ting, a phantom with red glowing eyes and known as a lean dog, said to haunt the site where the gallows once stood. In 1751, an old woman was accused of witchcraft by locals and drowned. A young a local chimney sweep was accused of taking part in the murder and was hanged up from the gallows. In the 19th century, two men were unkept and, and encountered a lean dog, reported it as being gaunt, haggard and unkept. A local schoolmaster encountered it, reported it being about the size of a Newfoundland dog, with a shaggy coat and tail and long ears. It all reports a state that is not the first appearance it mirrorized as from a fiery torch. A sim Kim Sif, a Scottish Irish legend, the Kim Sif, which means a fairy dog, was said to have a green, dark green shaggy coat about the size of a large calf. Its eyes are large and a fiery glow, and its tail was curled and sometimes bladed, bladed and calcate. Tradition, phantom dogs are usually black, black, though sometimes they are white with red, but red ears. The Irish synth, sag synth is described as being a huge black hound. Green is associated with fairies in Celtic lore. It's named after the fairy dog and seems to be a league of them. The sin synth was feared as a harbinger of death. In many, in much the same way, the Grim Reaper appears to the death to lead the souls to the afterlife. So the Kum Sif takes her soul to the underworld. The town is said to have hundreds silently had to have some silently hunted silently for its victim, but would sometimes rend the air with free blood curling yells that are carried on to a great distance. When there was a, when this has heard him, which locked up their women to prevent the sin to go forth from stealing them. Making the, taking them to the fairy world, where they, they would be made to give up their milk to the children of the fairies. The church of Kirk, church of Kirk, Grim. Vikings made, made many of their customs and traditions to be moved from Scandinavia. Well, may well influence the legends about dog. The church Grim was also known as Kirk Grim. A Finnish cook on the Vukvedklia, a Swedish cook at Grim. Both appeared in English and Scandinavian folklore as a central spirit with his task was to protect the church and its grounds. It appears a small, dark, or grossly, grotesquely formed per people, or as a black dog. In many parts of Europe, including 
Britain, early Christians also believed that to sacrifice to animals when a new church was built, black dog would be buried on no side of the land, where they would come the spirit God in, keeping the church from gates, ground safe from the devil. It was also God is a herald of doom, being deaf to anyone who encountered it. The last one on the list, the black dog of Gilly, Gilly Hale Hill. Luton. At ancient times, Gully Hill was known for full hill fault and barrow. Later in the 16th and 17th century, came a place of execution as gallows was erected. Gully Hill, Hill is a highly visible landmark which witches and criminals were executed there and their bodies covered in tar to preserve them. They were left on to hang on the gallows which stood high on the hills as a warning to others before being eventually buried. It is reported that one night the hill was hit by a ferocious storm. A gallows was struck by lightning, setting it and ground around it on the fire. In the flames, a black dog was said to have been seen hailing, gabering, gabering wildly. People believe that beasts come to the south, high on the souls of criminals and witches driving in for the gates of hell and Satan. That's it, folks, for Holsby Sidetrack. The Black Dog Bit. <laughs>